In this video, we're gonna compare the ice barrel versus the do-it-yourself chest freezer and see which one is a better ice bath. But first, we need to buy 100 pounds of ice, so that's about 10 bags from right here. Technically speaking, either option, you do need to buy ice. For the chest freezer, I like to put ice in the beginning to get it cold. With the ice barrel, each time you wanna use it, when there's no water, you'll have to add ice to cool it down. You could use like cold water, but it's not gonna get as cold as you want it to be. All right, this is the ice barrel. Let's unbox it. Woo! Very sturdy lid here. Look at that, this is the lid. This is like the base to hold the thing so it doesn't move around too much. This is the stool so you can climb into it because it is rather tall. I'm six feet tall and it comes up to... This is a glorified trash can, AKA the ice barrel. More like a glorified wine barrel. Comes with this handy dandy little bag. A little owner's guide. And I presume this is a cover that goes on top of it. Nice little sticker. Check that out. It's got the logo here. It's got a little spout right here. That you can actually, it's got some ridges right here. You can tie a hose. When it is time to drain, I can just turn this on and it should drain the water. It does look like it's leaking a little bit. Who are you talking to? I'm a YouTuber. <laughs> Why are you wearing that? <laughs> so you'll climb up. Oh wow, it is, it's deep. So you actually have to lower yourself in. Ow! There goes 100 IQ points. You have to like push yourself up. So now we fill it with ice. This is the ice barrel foundation right here. So I think this helps it stay sturdy. So it doesn't move. I assume when it's filled with water, we should be good. And we need to fill this sucker up. Both of these do require a lot of water. It can take probably five to 30 minutes to fill these up with water. Let's see how long it takes to fill up the ice barrel. All right, clock starts now. It is 11.30 on the dot. We are gonna fill up the ice barrel with water and ice at the same time. We are at a crunch for time. I bought about 100 pounds of ice from the grocery store. Now when it comes to price, the ice barrel is about $1,300 just for this little... For the chest freezer, it cost me about $1,000. And I did have to do an installation process where I had to actually put it together, install these hoses, get all these cables, get a temperature monitor. So there was a big step in process to it. 100 pounds of ice is checked. This is how far it's filled up with all that ice. We still got a ways to go. So we're just gonna let the hose run. While that fills up, we'll talk about consistency. In terms of every time I wanna use the ice barrel, you do have to fill it up with water and put some ice in it. It's gonna stay cold for a certain amount of time. We don't know yet, I will test that out. But the chest freezer right here, it does have a feature where I bought this little Wi-Fi thing which will keep it at 39 degrees at all times. So that is super convenient. This is the ozone generator I'm using as well as a little switch to turn it on and off. Aquarium sized water filter to keep the water clean. And a nice little shark. So it circulates the water, it kills the bacteria and it stays cold, all three. Whereas this one doesn't have any of those filtration systems, but it is more portable. So if I wanna take this to a party, I can share the experience with friends by using this, but we do have to fill it up and have water. We're almost halfway full and it's been about five minutes. I think about 15 minutes and this ice barrel should be big enough where we can actually get in it. I'm not gonna fill it up all the way to the top, but just enough where we can go in it because our body weight's gonna increase the level of the water. The next aspect is for Instagram photos. Obviously the chest freezer does not look as cool for Instagram photos, whereas this ice barrel is just this big black thing and then when you have ice coming out of the top, it just looks way cooler. So if your goal is to look good on Instagram, the ice barrel is probably the way to go. But if your goal is to get the benefits of a cold plunge, they both will do that for you. <laughs> now that it has kind of filled up, it is much harder to knock over. So I think you can sit on the edge and you should be fine. Now satisfaction, I also do have Lucy here who's gonna test this with me because you gotta have two different people to test the product out. According to this thermometer, it is about at 40 degrees, 39 probably. Same with that thermometer, it says 39. So this chest freezer, 39 degrees, which is freaking cold, I'll tell you that much. How cold do you think this one's gonna be? 33. 33, you think it's gonna be colder? Yeah. Really? Yeah, because the All ice. Right. Let's put our little friend in there. So look right there, we do have a little bit of water. Leakage coming from right here. We got a little river going on. Which brings us to our next point, which is like warranty wise. This, you're not supposed to do this. There is no warranty and when you want to use it, you really want to make sure to unplug it because you could electrocute yourself and getting electrocuted is not something I want to experience. Whereas the ice barrel, it is built by a company and there is a warranty. So I will contact them and see if there's any way to fix that little leak right there. And then temperature is colder, it's not 40. While we wait for the ice barrel to fill up, I'm gonna have Lucy go inside the chest freezer and tell you how satisfying it is. Are you ready? <laughs> I'm 
thanks for the heads up. <laughs> so is it gonna electrocute me? Uh, hopefully not. I would sit on this side okay. because there's like a little bench you can sit on. The mat will make it non-slippery and then you can step back onto this mat. So ease of use, getting in, you just kind of oh. step over. How is the satisfaction of the cold? Oh, it's satisfactory cold. <laughs> <laughs> How does it feel? It's cold. <laughs> There you go. Awesome. I'll see you later. I'm gonna go get lunch. <laughs> <laughs> Bye. Okay, this is so. the coldest one I've really? ever been in. Yeah. Okay. Interesting. How long do I have to stay? As long as you want. I'm good. Okay. Climb out. <laughs> <laughs> this one is still at 40 degrees, so maybe it's just as cold. All right. I'm gonna do the chest freezer now. 39 degrees. It's unplugged. Let's go in. Oh. <laughs> Satisfaction wise, this is definitely really, 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 really cold. Yeah, this feels good. This has a little seat that I can sit on, but I will be a little higher out. So if you have new people joining, that's good. If I want to go even deeper, I can sit lower and then it turns into like a backrest and I can lean my head back and I have this part to kind of grab onto to help support a little bit. My legs can't fully extend. If you can see, they're kind of bent. I'm six feet tall with shorter legs than the average six foot tall person, but I still fit in here. And if I want to dunk my head, I just bend my knees and dunk my head in, which I'm not going to do because it's too cold. But overall, this chest freezer, like getting in and out is relatively easy. I don't need steps. I don't need anything. When it's time to climb out, any type of cold plunge that you have when you're climbing out, it's going to spray water all around it. Oh, my feet hurt. Oh. So I will climb out. We do have a mat here to help absorb any water. But overall, like that's a solid experience. This is a 14.7 cubic foot chest freezer. So it does take up a lot of space. But other than that, like this is a good experience if you want to have something stationary and it's under a thousand dollars and it does require some do it yourself work to get it going. Time for the ice barrel. Are you ready for the ice barrel? I guess I don't have a choice. <laughs> Are you going to do it with the hose in there? Yeah. Okay. By the time my body's in there, it'll go up too. You think so? Yeah. The temperature. Oh, it's a little warmer now. This one says about 45 degrees, so this might actually be a little warmer. Good too, because it's at waist, so if you just want to do your legs, like after a track workout or something. Exactly. One of the downsides though is, as people get in, this will start to get warmer and warmer. The chest freezer is the same thing, but if you plug it in between sessions, you can cool it down every single time by turning the chest freezer on. Step up these steps. Easy. Oh, this is hard. Wait, so now I have to jump in? Okay. You kind of slide in. You want to oh, sit in? I mean, this is more challenging. <laughs> Okay, so Ooh! it definitely looks cooler when you're sitting Ooh! in this. How was the experience? How long do I have to stay in here? 20 minutes. <laughs> no. Joe Rogan style. No. What's the satisfaction level? Satisfactory. Is it colder or warmer than the other one? I'd say it's like three degrees warmer. Three degrees warmer. Okay, yeah. interesting. So I can get out now? Yes. It's not a, that bad. It's a foot higher than the chest freezer. Was it pretty easy? Yeah. How tall are you? 5'10". Alright, you're free to go. Thank you. Alright, now it's my turn to touch the ice barrel. Now we gotta use this stepping stool. And then I think you have to sit. Oh, this is cool! <laughs> Ooh. Woo. But this definitely looks cooler with the ice, right? I can get my hands in because it's not as cold. And we've got this little uh, shark who can help me out. Okay, so right now I'm all the way in and the water level is almost at the peak. And now we are going to climb out. Ooh, whoa, look at that. Ooh. When you're freaking out and you're cold, <laughs> climbing out of this thing can be a challenge. I don't think this is built for newcomers, but if you've done an ice bath before and you feel comfortable, then this could work. This is interesting. The ice is pretty much all melted. I think we would have to buy big blocks of ice to keep this really cold. And then maybe we could drain some water and add more ice and then refill the water maybe every like couple weeks depending on how many people use it and how often you use it. This one, I try to drain it every month or so, if you're using it on a daily basis. I have filled up this sucker. It is pretty freaking high up now. I don't think we had enough ice. 100 pounds of ice definitely wasn't enough. But it looks like we're at 48 degrees. So we are definitely like 10 degrees warmer than the chest freezer that I have. So what I will do is actually, I want to leave this lid on. I think if you're in a cold environment, this could be really useful. If you're in a warmer environment and this is like outside in your backyard with the sun beating on it, it might warm up faster. And then with the chest freezer, right, the price wise, I do have to fill it up once with ice and water. And then every time I refill it, I have to buy more ice. Same thing with the ice barrel. You have to fill it up with ice and water each time. It just depends on how often you want to clean out the water. With this one, I could probably go a bit longer because of the cleaning infiltration system. I think if you're willing to invest the time and you want to save some money, the do-it-yourself chest freezer is the option to go. If you're looking for something that's Instagram worthy, it looks cool, a little more portable that you can take to parties, then the ice barrel is the way to go. 
Make sure to watch my video on how I built my own chest freezer right here. It'll be linked down below.